Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is point 16, and uh, my name is Nihai Hobo. Um, so, first of all, we've got uh, the... Um, how it, So it looks like, yeah, all the persistence has gone, which means the MMM has gone, and all the debris. This is what I expected, and this is why we've, we've now hit Season 2. Uh, any new planets? No, orbit around the Sun and Mun and Minmus. So it's just uh, this was a uh, an update on the parts for the most part, which I'm going to guess now that the rockets. Oh no, we have some rockets. We don't have all the rockets though. That's weird. Why would that be? No. Okay, I'm going to go clean this file up and we'll get rid of all of these rockets and this will be a fresh start and we'll go back to the original idea that we had of trying to put a moon base down on the moon um, but we're going to start from scratch with that. Okay, so uh, I'll be right back. Walking on the moon ba -gum -ba -bum. Hello everyone and welcome back. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. They've really hidden the ships. Um, I've, I've actually run a uh, Windows 7 um, 64-bit professional, and uh, they have two save folders. So I went and deleted the first lot of ships um, that you already saw, and then it brought up all of the other ones, including the Beta 5 and the MMMMM, and I thought, oh, okay, we might be able to carry on here. And... Um, no, <laughs> uh, all of the ships are incompatible with the with this new version, and um, so I then went and um, added a. Uh, uh, I, I went and had to Google to find out where the new folders are, and uh, it turns out they are. Uh, very deep, deep, deep uh, with the Minecraft folders somewhere, and they take some real digging out. So I deleted all those and the persistent files. This is now an absolutely fresh game. I think it would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, let's let's just go for broke um, and let's have these big ones, and we'll just try and uh, we'll see what sort of um, effect this has, um, if and then make a decision as to whether or not we're going to be. Um, taking this sort of a moon base up to the moon or if we will be taking a um, one of the more traditional shapes on these FLT tanks um, compared to the FLT32 so uh, those, these will be forever known now as the 400s and the 32s so first of all then El Stacco Decoupler which would be you and then we will pop a couple of fuel tests. In fact, actually, I just want to do a quick test flight with this and just see how this bad boy responds um, to stuff. I basically, just want to piss around with it. Uh, this is the parachute we're going to want. You're going to need a much bigger parachute these days. And we will also have. Let's pop a couple of these on. Let's get some symmetry going. And if these, when they let go, go, I am going to have a sex wee a little bit more than when we first started this. You know, that little <laughs> moment that I had at the beginning? Yeah, that's going to be nothing if they go, I will just lose it. Um, oh, I forget that this is now a two-page thing. Oh, I thought they'd be bigger. They actually look quite dwarfed on there. Uh, let's pop you down there and bang a couple of you on there. You truly are going to be a pain in the bum side, aren't you? So there you go. Uh, doesn't really look like a traditional rocket as I would, uh, in my mind's eye, imagine it, but let's drop this down a touch more. And, oh, I can't see. I wanted to see. <laughs> What's. Oh, that's it. Shift. I guess that that is pretty much as near as damn it, so. 
This will be oops, taste test of and let's see. Oh, save. Uh, let's see who the lucky candidate cosmonauts are. Please be Bill Jeb and Bob. Please be Bill Jeb and Bob. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah! Who else would it be? So, we're going to uh, shift the throttle up. Hopefully, I did check. Now, for some reason, the volume settings came across. Everything's at 3% volume, so hopefully that should be right. And 3, 2, oh. Oh, you know what? I never put on an SAS. So this is going to be interesting. 3, 2, 1. That was even sexier than I thought it was going to be. That. Uh, okay, so yeah, an SAS is probably a uh, quite a solid requirement. It tears through fuel at quite a, quite a rate. But we are picking up speed quite aggressively. We're also falling over quite aggressively. Hopefully, it should straighten out a bit once we do this. That should allow it to regain some control. No, it's still rolling over. So, an SAS is an absolute must on these. But, one thing I didn't see was an SAS this size. That is interesting though it is fast it is very fast I think that this may be a good substitute for the solid uh, rocket um, uh, rattles because these look like they're gonna be just a little bit more controllable that just sounds so nice um, so yeah, because they give a hell of a lot of thrust, um, and they would certainly carry their own weight plus whatever little peasy rocket you've got underneath it. In fact, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and end this here, because I want to try that out as a theory. Um, so, yeah, and the flight, and um, vehicle assembly building, and let's do away with, in fact, actually, let's just start a new one with a more traditional sized U and that with the parachutes I don't need no parachute baby if I got you just wanted to see what that would do um, where's the nose cones gone? well we don't have time for this, it's not that one we want, we need that one first then now, I know this is more of a, an avionics pack rather than a get-your-ass-to-the-moon uh, sort of SAS, but we will be putting proper SASs on here as well. I'm just sort of trying to rush through this a little bit because I've got three minutes left. So there we go, traditional size stack decoupler and a advanced SAS, an SAS, a fuel... One, two... Three fuel tank with a uh, are you gimbling engine? Because your numbers have changed. Thrust vectoring, yes. So therefore, these produce a little bit more, uh, and these are the ones that used to be these ones. I don't remember the numbers. These ones will suffice, and we'll get a dot to dot. And we'll just do a single tank of massive fuel. It's going to look ridiculous. And two of those. And we'll just lower that down a little bit. So that the weight is on these big buggers. And... Um, The only thing about this is that you can't wish there was a button. If you're going to do this, this is fine. It's, oh, shit it. This is a lovely idea, but um, 
If you're going to do it, make sure there's a way to drop everything down to the bottom. But um, I suppose then you could do that. So you could stay where you're rocking out like that one. Um, I tell you what, this is probably we're running out of time for this one. So we'll do it. We'll this will be the first test on the the next video. So um, join me then to uh, to see how this works out. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Nihai Hobo. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.